Welcome Yodi alums. We're going to make a Stunenburger this evening, so you can take a chance and uh, let it go this weekend and make your own. Hopefully you've got your swag bags that have the uh, famous Stunenburger seasoning right, that we have right here. When you apply it, apply it liberally, as in liberal arts. Um, also note on the table, uh, we've got the uh, setups for the Stunenburger. You'll notice a glass of your uh, favorite adult beverage there. Chances are you had more adult beverage than you did Stunenburgers when you were at the Old Town Eatery remembering $2 pitcher nights. So while, we're, while this cooks, we're going to, again, put the uh, seasoning on liberally and we'll go ahead and let these cook for a while and then we'll be getting ready for the Swiss cheese. As you can see, we've got the Stunenburgers almost ready to serve. I'm gonna close the lid on the grill and let that Swiss cheese melt a little bit more and then we're going to get ready to serve them on the uh, sesame seed bun with the uh, lettuce, tomato, and onion. I want you to note that the burgers are Desert Mountain grass-fed beef. These are actually uh, John and Linda Beckett's uh, animals. They're C of I alums. Uh, John's a 78 grad, and I believe Linda is an 80 grad. Uh, but they do, they raise uh, the Akaushi grass-fed beef. Uh, you can buy it locally at uh, the Boise Co-op, and it's at a lot of the Whole Foods stores. An outstanding improvement to the Stunenburger. As you can see, that delicious Swiss cheese has melted over the uh, Akaushi grass-fed beef, and we're going to go ahead and plate these uh, with uh, our red onion lettuce and tomato garnish. There's a Stunenburger for you from Caldwell, Idaho. Happy homecoming. We'll look forward to seeing you next year in person. Cheers to all you Coyote alums. Don't have any uh, peanuts to throw on the floor, but uh, the thoughts are there. Happy homecoming. Hope to see you in person next year.